Find the exact value of each trigonometric ratio. In part A, we'll find the exact value of secant 120 degrees. Secant 120 degrees is equal to 1 over cos 120 degrees. Cos 120 degrees is equal to negative 1 half. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. The exact value of secant 120 degrees is negative 2. In part b, we'll find the exact value of secant 3 pi over 2. Secant 3 pi over 2 is equal to 1 over cos 3 pi over 2. Cos 3 pi over 2 is equal to 0. We can't divide by 0, so secant 3 pi over 2 is undefined. In part c, we'll find the exact value of cosecant pi over 3. Cosecant pi over 3 is equal to 1 over sine pi over 3. Sine pi over 3 is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. This gives us 2 over the square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator. Multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3. The exact value of cosecant pi over 3 is 2 times the square root of 3 over 3. In part d, we'll find the exact value of cosecant negative 3 pi over 4. Find the principal angle. Add 2 pi to negative 3 pi over 4 to get the principal angle, 5 pi over 4. It follows that cosecant negative 3 pi over 4 is equal to cosecant 5 pi over 4. Cosecant 5 pi over 4 is equal to 1 over sine 5 pi over 4. The sine of 5 pi over 4 is equal to negative root 2 over 2. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. This gives us negative 2 over root 2. Rationalize the denominator. Multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. This gives us negative 2 root 2 over 2. The exact value of cosecant 5 pi over 4 is the negative square root of 2. In part e, we'll find the exact value of tan pi over 6. Tan pi over 6 is equal to sine pi over 6 over cos pi over 6. Sine pi over 6 is equal to 1 half, and cos pi over 6 is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. This gives us 1 over the square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator. Multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3.
the exact value of tan pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 3. In part f, we'll find the exact value of negative tan 5 pi over 4. Negative tan 5 pi over 4 is equal to negative sine 5 pi over 4 over cos 5 pi over 4. Sine 5 pi over 4 is equal to negative root 2 over 2, and cos 5 pi over 4 is equal to negative root 2 over 2 as well. The exact value of negative tan 5 pi over 4 is negative 1. In part g, we'll find the exact value of cotan squared 270 degrees. Cotan 270 degrees is equal to the cosine of 270 degrees over the sine of 270 degrees. Don't forget that the fraction must be squared. The cosine of 270 degrees is 0, and the sine of 270 degrees is negative 1. The fraction is still being squared. Zero divided by negative one is zero. The exact value of cotan squared 270 degrees is zero. In part h, we'll find the exact value of cotan negative five pi over six. Find the principal angle. Add 2 pi to negative 5 pi over 6 to get the principal angle of 7 pi over 6. It follows that cotan negative 5 pi over 6 is equal to cotan 7 pi over 6. Cotan 7 pi over 6 is equal to the cosine of 7 pi over 6 over the sine of 7 pi over 6. The cosine of 7 pi over 6 is equal to negative root 3 over 2, and the sine of 7 pi over 6 is equal to negative 1 half. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. The exact value of cotan 7 pi over 6 is root 3.